Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be ranking my top 10 favorite monster sets for the Magic of Dragon Knight in the Deadlands DLC. Well, the Dragon Knight class in general. And I'm going to be looking at these sets from an unbiased 1VX standpoint. Because as you guys know, I am a 1VXer. But I will also be looking at these sets from not only a 1VX standpoint, but from a group play standpoint as well. So let's get into the video. Welcome back guys and before we begin today's video a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members Thank you so much for supporting me and keeping the channel afloat Also guys we have a community discord link is down in the description below Also I need your pvp clips please submit them to horcruxeso at yahoo.com for a chance to be featured in next week's pvp top 5 I'm working on this week's pvp top 5 it should be out on friday So please hit the like and subscribe button if you want to be notified for that when I actually do upload the video Okay, so let's get started. So the tier list I'm making, you can actually make this at tierlist.com. Um, this is the tier list I made. I will leave a link down in the description if you guys want to do something similar like this or use it or edit it or what have you. So again, we'll be going over each of these sets from a 1VX perspective and also a group perspective. So the very first set we have here is a ball orgs or balrog so the one piece gives you weapon and spell damage and then two piece when you use an ability you gain weapon and spell damage equal to the amounts of ultimate consumed and physical and spell penetration equal to 23 times the amount consumed this is a really good set um, i really do like it it really does bolster your dot damage up pretty substantially and then the buff is also insanely long and then on the dk you know when you go in for your burst like sometimes you're not always to able to close out the kill just because of our innate lack of bursting capability so this does help offset that so this is super good from a 1vx standpoint however it does fall short in the group standpoint so i'm probably gonna place ball orgs it probably had a beats here for now uh, this is subject to change all throughout the video the more i think about and talk about these sets with their viability okay so next on the list we have baron zujus i think that's how you pronounce that so the one piece gives you stamina magic and health and then the two piece applying a stats effect to an emd grant you a stack of zujus ambition for 10 seconds stacking up to three times when you get three stacks the stacks are removed and you gain four ultimate once you gain ultimate you cannot gain ultimate for one additional second so this is really good it's very comparable to blood spawn I think it actually gives you more ult than blood spawn but of course however blood spawn does give you the resistances so maybe if you're specking into like a decisive build to where each instance of ultimate can give you more ultimate is really good um this is usable on the magicka and stamina variants but unfortunately it has zero group utility so i'm probably gonna place this at a b tier for now uh again this may change Okay, so next on the list we have Blood Spawn. So one line gives you stamina recovery and then the two piece. When you take damage, you have a 6% chance to generate 13 ultimate and increase your physical and spell resistances by 3700 for 5 seconds. This effect can occur once every 5 seconds. Now, Blood Spawn does have re reasonably high uptime. It does give you a metric crap ton of ult, which helps with your sustain and also your bursting capabilities on the DK. But unfortunately, it does not have any group utility yet again so i'm gonna place this down here with the barons on the b tier you know what? actually no, i want places on the a tier because this has been around forever it's such a legacy set so yeah it's uh it definitely deserves a spot among the champions on the a tier list next on this we have in kratos so you get one line max and magica and then the two piece dealing flank damage to your enemy grants behemoth aura for 12 seconds that reaches up to 12 meters you and up to 11 group members in the aura reduce flame damage taken by five percent enemies in the aura increase their flame damage taken by five percent this effect can occur once every 15 seconds so it is a reasonably high uptime like 75 70 percent you know math hard guys so this is really good so the way the meta has shifted here on the deadlands dlc there's a lot of dragonites a lot of mag dk's in particular yes there's a lot more stamina dk's as well but it's mag dk's are more prevalent this is a super good set if you want to run this on your mag dk and just counter other mag dk's so it's a 10 percent swing not only are you doing five percent more damage but you're also reducing your damage taken by five percent the good thing is this is a huge aoe so you have a lot of group utility as well so for those reasons i'm gonna place that in a tier for the time being let me know what you guys think down in the comment okay so next we're gonna be looking at engine guardian so engine guardian the one line gives you health recovery and then the two piece when you use an ability that costs resources you have a 25 percent chance to summon a duane or automaton to restore 550 stamina magica or 2000 health 
every 0.5 seconds for six seconds this effect can occur once every 10 seconds so this does have a really really high uptime i believe that effect occurrence can occur um quicker than that i'm not sure if it's a bug or maybe this is an outdated tooltip but engine gardening has been around since the absolute dawn of time it doesn't have any group utility but engine guardian not only is it going to help you with your sustain but the engine guardian is kind of tanky to be honest and it does eat a lot of ultimates like in caps and meteors so for that reason i'm going to place engine guardian in a tier for the time being so next on the tier list we have Grothgar. So the one piece gives you a line of max magic of the two piece. When you deal damage to an enemy within eight meters, you have a 10% chance to create a lava pool that swirls around you, doing X amount of flame damage to all enemies within eight meters every one second for five seconds. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds that scales off the higher of your weapon and spell damage. Now, Grothgar is a pretty interesting set since this has been a relatively heavy dot meta for the Magicka Dragonite and somewhat for the Stamina Dragonite as well. You compare sets like with Deadly Strike. Deadly Strike does indeed buff Grothgar, so you can get up to some pretty juicy tooltips. In comparison, Grothgar hits pretty much the same as a Burning Embers. So it's a Burning Embers essentially applied to everyone around you, and then it also has a chance to apply the Burning Stats effect. Now, again, it is a dot damage. Dot damage is kind of overwhelming at times. And also, Grothgar does not have any group utility. So I'm going to put that this set, unless you build into it specifically, down C tier. Okay, so the next set we're going to go over is Magna Incarnate. So the one piece gives you magic recovery and stamina recovery. Two piece. When you heal yourself or a group member with a single target heal ability, grant the lowest health group members within 28 meters minor courage and minor resolve, increasing their weapon and spell damage by 215 and armor by 3000 for 10 seconds. Daedric energy will then bounce to a nearby group member within 8 meters up to 3 times, also applying minor courage and minor resolve for 10 seconds. This effect can occur once every 15 seconds, so this has a 66.7% uptime. The one line gives you not only magic recovery, it gives you stamina recovery as well. It gives you the defenses as if it's a blood spawn proc and it also gives you spell damage. And guys, let's be real, this applies to your group members as well. So you can have one DK in your group or anyone running this and you're buffing up your group. You're buffing up yourself. So just for that reason guys, this has an immense amount of potential. It is one of the sets that i've yet to farm which i'm probably going to farm today off stream or maybe on stream you guys can watch me get packed up in some dlc veteran dungeon content but for these reasons guys i'm definitely putting this in s tier no this doesn't really affect the stamina variant for the dk as much but the effects are just too good so yes definitely s tier okay so we got three remaining the next set we're gonna go over is balcon scoria the one piece does give you a lot of offensive penetration two piece when you deal flame damage with a damage over time effect you have an eight percent chance to summon a meteor that deals x amount of flame damage and then another x amount of flame damage to people in aoe around the original target this effect can occur once every five seconds and scales off the higher of your weapon and spell damage do not quote me on this guys i believe scory is super bugged super broken i'm probably going to end up making a video about this as well the eight percent chance is way 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 too low i've tested this in my housing and it's more like a four percent chance also the proc of this is bugged on the deadlands dlc as of right now it will not proc when it's supposed to you can hear the visual cues you can hear the audio cues if you're using a controller you can actually hear it vibrate but the meatball never falls and it usually takes an additional five seconds for it to fall sometimes when you're out of combat it's just super inconsistent i wish i could rank this higher guys because it does do a lot a lot of damage for solo content yes it doesn't really have group utility but just because of the bugginess nature of the set it's going to go in d tier i should I actually added a whole another tier down here trash tier but uh we're working with this for now okay so next we have veldreth so veldreth gives you a uh, weapon and spell damage and two beasts when you deal damage you have a 20 percent chance to spawn three disease spores in front of you after one second that deals x amount of disease disease damage to every enemy hit this effect can occur once every eight seconds scales off the high of your weapon or spell damage i don't know if you guys have ran into this build but a dk pop corrosive on me i don't know if it, I, I don't even know if it was a stamina or magic dk but this hit me so hard and it poisoned me so there's another dot on top of that this hit me for like 5.5k okay i don't know how <laughs> someone's pushing tooltips on this so high maybe they pop corrosive maybe it counts as direct damage i'm not entirely sure i haven't really tested it 
Again, it is really good for solo content, especially for the Stamina Dragonite, but because of the lack of utility for group, I'm probably going to put it in the B tier, maybe A tier. I really don't know on this one. This one's a, a toss up. So let me know if you guys agree with me putting this in the B tier. Or maybe it should be down the trash tier with Valk and Scoria because I don't see very many people run it, but when they do, they hit like a truck. Last but certainly not least is Zahn. So the one piece gives you a critical chance, the two piece. When you deal damage with a lighter heavy attack, you have a 33% chance to create a beam of fire that will connect to your enemy as long as you remain within 8 meters of them. The beam deals X amount of flame damage every 1 second and doubles every second thereafter for 6 seconds. So this effect can occur once every 18 seconds and scales off the higher of your maximum spell or weapon damage. Now Zahn's does hit really really hard. I'm just going to say this offers zero group utility so that automatically puts it down in the A tier rank. Now, if you spec specifically into this, like something like Deadly Strike, yes, Deadly Strike does buff this. It is a pretty incredible heavy dot pressure for a single target builds. It doesn't have a lot of AOE coverage, which is kind of what you need for one VXing, right? So I'm going to put this in a B tier because it is single target. It doesn't have any group utility and it is kind of niche how you have to build into Zons. It may actually be C tier actually. So uh, yeah, we're going to put this down C tier for the time being. I don't see a lot of people running it. So there we go, guys. Okay, so here's a complete tier list of how I rank these monster sets for the Dragonite class. Please let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. Let me know what you would change as well. Again, guys, the link to this tier list it will be down in the description and if you want to make your own it's tierlist.com so thank you for watching today's video guys please do not forget to eviscerate the like and subscribe button and i will catch you all in the next one peace